I learned to play chess from my grandfather when I was eight. And then when I joined the fraternity, I continued to play in chess tournaments to the point where I was actually, in 1960, I think it was, I was 25th ranked in the country as a chess player. It took a long while, but I finally realized that mathematics was a better game than chess. The Battelle Institute in Seattle, had had, in 1962, had had a conference and Lashoff had edited a problem list. And Milner had contributed what he called that were the seven most important problems in geometric topology. And one of the problems was the annulus conjecture, which I could understand. I like solving problems, I guess, and so I could chew on this problem. After about a year or so of graduate study, I had an idea which, with an extra hypothesis, would prove the annulus conjecture. But namely, between those two spheres, there had to be a little tube that sort of fit together right. And you put the tube into the ball and you got the annulus. So it's fairly simple. And I showed that to Eldon Dyer, and he, he kind of liked that. He was editor of the Proceedings of the AMS. And anyway, he accepted the paper. How about telling us about the Taurus trick, uh, you know, how you solved all these problems in topological manifolds and uh, where it went from there? If you took a homeomorphism of the Taurus, just the two Taurus even, and you took its uh, universal cover, so you had a homeomorphism R2 to R2. What did that homeomorphism look like? That's, that's for some reason, that crossed my mind. And so I said, well, it's, I realized it's going to be periodic. That whatever it did on one fundamental domain is going to do all the rest. And then I realized, well, if, if you fix the lattice points, if there's a fixed point, or if, you, uh, if this was homotopic to the identity, then uh, the homeomorphism was bounded. And so that was an aha moment. We don't talk about luck much in mathematics. Uh, you know, who wants to believe that their stuff is due to luck? Mm -hmm. I got to put in the last piece of the puzzle. Yeah. If I did this work earlier, I would have put in the next to the last piece of the mm -hmm. puzzle, so to speak. And somebody else would have come along and worked it out and got all the glory. That strikes me as a good argument for luck because I certainly could have done it earlier mm -hmm. and then I wouldn't, the payoff wouldn't have been nearly as great. So you're just the right amount smart. Just the right amount smart, just right. <laughs> <laughs>